Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to demonstrate how to work with text stroke. It's a CSS3 property. It needs the uh, dash webkit dash vendor prefix as uh, you can clearly see out here works only in Chrome and Safari and strangely enough even Opera. Right. Uh, see this is the HTML and let me hide the HTML for you so you can only focus on the CSS and this is a very little uh, CSS that you actually need. Uh, notice that along with the webkit dash webkit uh, text stroke property I've also used the text shadow property people. Uh, let me bring up a picture in front of you. Okay. Now the text shadow property takes up one, two, three and four uh, different arguments the X offset or the shift along the X axis which is the horizontal shift then we have the Y offset or the vertical shift up or down then we have the blur value and then the color value right so you use the shortened color property out here and uh, the good news is uh, for some of you might not know that that you can use multiple text shadows as we have used out here just like we can use uh, multiple background images in CSS3 and multiple box shadows in CSS3 we also can use uh, multiple text shadows so we have combined out here two effects the uh, webkit uh, dash webkit dash text stroke property along with the text dash shadow property and the two combined gives you this night of, uh, nice effect which says what a stroke or whatever uh, what I'm gonna do is people I'm gonna destroy uh, the uh, CSS I'm gonna work on the CSS all over again only for those people uh, who probably might find it difficult to understand it like this uh, it'll make sense to actually work uh, all over again uh, you see people I'm using codepen.io it's an online editor allows you to work real quick uh, I find it especially good for my tutorials uh, faster than Dreamweaver that I was using uh, for a long time and uh, okay now let's examine the HTML it just has one single element which says what a stroke so we have the opening and the closing h1 tags out here alrighty uh, if I open the settings uh, the settings allow you to add some stuff for your uh, opening closing head tags and all that I've done is I have put my name out here uh, inside the opening and the closing uh, title tags, my email address and my website qualitylessons.net okay let me close the settings up now as I uh, promise you we'll uh, do the uh, the CSS all over again let's close the HTML so we can focus only on the CSS the first rule uh, we're gonna create is a tag rule for the body and I'm gonna use the background shorten property and I'm gonna you know have a color of silver going next people uh, let me give a margin to my body let's say a cushion of uh, 25 px all around you see the text actually shift so we have a cushion here and here in fact on all the four sides of the body uh, the next rule that I'm gonna create is gonna uh, tackle h1 again another uh, tag rule since we just have one single element the h1 element okay and I'm gonna start off with the the font shorten property so font the order is important people the order that I'm writing uh, the font shorten property in is really important so write bold first then um, write the font size next let's say 72 px or whatever and then the font family in our case comic sans serif or whatever uh, you would decide in your case right uh, next people I'm gonna write the text stroke property which needs the dash webkit 
dash vendor prefix and then the text dash stroke this is again a shorthand property people and which includes the thickness and the color or the text stroke so that's text uh, stroke thick you know the width and the color next up people uh, let me use the color property to define the color for my text I've actually changed it from the default uh, black to the color white and next I'm gonna paste some code people now this is for the uh, text shadow in fact yep so we can actually see the effect the way we want it to see in fact this is not the font I wanted to use I wanted to use sans ms rather yep <laughs> just uh, expand this a little bit so let's drop the font size yep this is the uh, the font that I was uh, the font family that I wanted to use just got a little confused out there All right so you can see uh, how uh, good the combo of the uh, webkit text stroke property along with the text sh shadow property is and uh, we can see quite clearly out here that we have used five different uh, text shadows you see this is X displacement this is Y displacement this is the uh, blur value and this is the color you see everywhere we've actually used black we've used it in different uh, we've used different values you see for the X and the Y displacement and this is the nice effect that you get in the end so people I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful I hope you'll thumb the video up I hope I'll also hope that you'll subscribe if you still haven't and uh, I'll hope uh, that you'll keep going back for more and more tutorials from me you have a good day bye bye peace